Good afternoon. Sorry for a, a little delay, no? Medyo um, nagkaroon lang ako ng konting uh, niche, uh, konting loading. <laughs> uh, how are you? How are you guys? How, how's everyone? I hope everyone is nakatune in na po sa atin uh, this afternoon. And I really hope na uh, ma magather niyo po yung mga kasamahan po natin, yung mga mga ka-DPPI natin, yung mga ka-grupo mo, ka-team mo, upline, downline, and anybody within the organization, sana ma-invite po natin para uh, they will be able to join with us uh, this afternoon. Napakaganda po yung topic na pag-uusapan po natin ay ang pag-uusapan po natin ay tungkol po sa... Us, uh, ayan, this sinap. afternoon, napakaganda po yung topic na pag-uusapan po natin. Okay, nag-check lang ako kung how... Uh, kumusta ba yung live natin? Hello, Sir Robert. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining with us. No, Thank you for being here. Okay. Okay, okay. By the way, if you, if you are there already, can you make a comment so that at least we will be able to know that you are there? At least po, uh, kahit pa paano, alam po natin na nandyan na po kayo. At uh, ayan, uh, umpisahan na natin para... para Para makarami tayo ng discussion. No? By the way, tomorrow is Wednesday and I hope and I pray na everyone is really uh, doing well for the month of May. Bukas po, may bagong month na po tayo. June na po tayo. June 1 na po tayo. So we are actually uh, nakatapos na po tayo ng 5 months po sa 2022. We, on, we are left with how many months more to go? Uh, 7 months more to go. no? Uh, 7 months more to go. And I hope na Whatever things na hindi po natin nagawa on the first uh, on the previous five months, I hopefully that na uh, netong itong pagkakatao na to sa month of June ay magawan po natin ang paraan para makaarakada po tayo ulit. Okay? So hindi ko na po kayo patatagalin. 
uh, umpisahan na po natin ang pag-arangkada po natin, ang pag-uusapan po natin today is actually all about objection. How are we going to overcome on how are we going to handle objections? A lot of us actually is afraid of objections. Sometimes we are actually uh, uh, afraid na baka kung meron siyang mga objections ay hindi natin masagot or hindi natin maagapan. Now, una po, let's have some a different let's have some different perspective when it comes to objection. Always remember, objection is not a complaint. Hindi po complain ang objection. Com- objection is just simply a concern na nakita po ng client natin. Kaya po na ipakita, na ipresent niya sa atin, binalik niya sa atin, binato niya ulit sa atin so that ma-address yung concern po niya. Hindi po yun complain. Okay? Kasi, ang problem kasi natin when we, when we talk about objection, ang akala kasi natin, it is a complain. Okay? So, settle po natin yung idea na yan. Objection is not a complain, but merely, it's just a concern. So, because it is a concern, it, it, it is addressable. Pwede po nating ma-address po yan. Pag, na, pag naayos natin yung concern na binibigay sa atin ng buyers natin, then definitely, we will be able to close the sale. Okay? So ano po ba yung purpose sa pag-uusapan natin this afternoon? Number one, mat- matututo tayo ng mga practical techniques kung paano mag-overcome ng objection. Saan natin ito i-apply? I-apply natin ito kung may, may i-raise na concern ang kliyente. No? Kasi you know, sinabi ko it's about concern it's not an it's not a complaint. So ano yung magiging pay off natin dito when ma-resolve natin yung objection it will give us the possibility or the high chances na mas close po natin yung sale. Because at the end of the day naman ang bottom line natin gusto natin maka maka-close ng sale. Eh. Whether whether we like it or not that's what we want. We want to have a sale. Gusto natin na maka-close po tayo ng sale. That, I mean, sino ba namang ayaw? Sino ba namang hindi? So, lahat tayo po gusto po magkaroon ng sale, na makapag-close po tayo ng sale. Okay, by the way, if you are there right now, can you make some comments so that we will we will be able to greet you on the air? So, bakit nga ba nag-o-object si client? Number one, an objection is a client's concern or reason against a plan, idea, or a product. So, meron siyang nakita. Now, if it concerns the client, then definitely he's going to ask it from us. He's not going to ask things if it doesn't concern him. So if it concerns sa kanya, then magtatanong siya. One thing I am sure, the reason why gusto niyang itanong, kasi gusto niyang i-clear, by the moment na ma- nakatira na siya dyan, is, eto na ba to? Ganito na ba to? Ganyan na ba to? O, gusto niyang isettle po yan. Kasi, um, he is going to buy the dream home na ninanais niya for the longest time. Okay. Objections are normal part of selling. So, dapat pong mag-expect po talaga tayo dyan. Never, 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 never think that there will be no objections. Although, we like it na wala pong objection, although, yun ang pinangarap natin na sana walang objection, but it's just but part of the normal selling process. Part po siya na normal selling process. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Hello, Sheila Corpus. Thank you for joining. I like that. No, I like newbies that are attending trainings and seminars like this. I, I mean, thank you, thank you, Sheila. You, know, you are the reason why, why I keep doing these things. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> sorry, sorry. Thank you, thank you for joining, Jim Marie. No, thank you for being here. At saka kay Ma'am Renita din, thank you. Ma'am Imelda, thank you also for joining. If possible po, Ma'am Renita, Ma'am Imelda, uh, Jim Marie, can you, ano, can you call your downline? Can you chat your downline? Can you, um, ano ba? Can you mention them so that they can join with us here in our uh, live training? May regular training po tayo ha every 10 a.m. in the morning and every 4 p.m. in the afternoon. So please monitor it, take note of it na sana po makapag-join kayo. So we have good topics. These are topics na makakatulog talaga sa atin. And by the way, to Miss Sheila Corpus, Sheila, 
Uh, today is we are discussing basic selling skills, and this is already part five. Now there is part one, two, three, and four that is also stored in that page where in kung saan ka ngayon nanonood. So my encouragement, Sheila, is that if you have time, please review the four more videos na nandiin nandito, nasa loob nito. Okay? Para ma, ma, masubaybayan mo at ma-connect mo. Okay? So, uh, yun, objections are normal part of selling. Next is objection does not mean the client will not buy. Hindi po ibig sabihin na kung may concern siya, hindi na siya bibili. Ang gusto lang niya, ma-resolve yung concern na, na binato niya sa'yo, tinanong niya sa'yo, kasi kung ma-address mo yun, masagot mo yun, then definitely he can make a good decision whether to buy it or not to buy it. Okay. Real estate selling starts with the client starts with the client says no. Di ba? Ibig sabihin kasi, pa, hindi kasi hindi kasi lahat ng no is no eh. In the part of the client, probably he says no because he wants more or he wants more from you, he wants to know more from you, he wants to ask and he has concern na hindi pa po na resolve. That's exactly the point there. Okay? So, ang gagawin lang po natin is Arali natin ang husto, ang project na binibenta natin so that we will be able to address whatever concern na ibabato niya sa atin. So bakit nga ba nag-o-object si client? Number one, these are, these are reasons. Ha? Clients object because if they don't believe you, kung hindi siya naniniwala sa'yo. Alam nyo, integrity is the most important ingredient sa sales. Pag wala po tayo dyan, ay nako, patay kang bata ka. No? Now, integrity is something that you cannot, you cannot possess is some ano uh, no so, so, something that you cannot integrity is something that you cannot get somewhere else you cannot buy it you cannot uh you cannot kumbaga uh because it's character based eh? it's value based eh? no ang 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 integrity kasi is value based eh? so it has to it has to come from the inner being of the person kumbaga Dito na po nagko-contribute kung paano ka pinalaki ng nanay mo, pinaano, paano ka pinalaki ng tatay mo, uh, how are, how, how's your spirituality, how was your religious life. Dito na po nagpa-factor lahat po yan. Okay? So thank you, thank you for joining Miss Daniela Nosetti, no, Nosetti. And thank you also for joining Bonef Kina, Kinapundan. No, thank you for joining. So problema talaga yan. Mag-o-object talaga ang kliyente pag hindi siya naniniwala sa'yo. So, if he's in doubt of what, I mean, ka, pag hindi siya naniniwala sa'yo, malaking problema po yun kasi lahat ng sasabihin mo ay hindi niya papaniwalaan. Number one, baka may questionable integrity ka. Baka may honesty issue ka. Baka your character speaks for something different. That's the reason why, because real estate is done mostly in the online, I always say this to, all, to our agent, use your real name because people who use their real name are clean people. People who uses the real name are people with integrity. Kasi ang hindi gumagamit ng totoong pangalan nila, dito lalo na sa online business, is that those are people actually na baka may tinataguan. Either pinaghahanap siya ng batas, either either may obligasyon siya or may, may kakilala or may kagalit, kaya nagtatago siya sa ibang pangalan. And that's exactly my point. Why we want people, all of our agents, to use the real names? And why is it that we encourage everyone to use the official DPPI profile picture. Diba? Diba may official DPPI profile picture tayo? Use it. Why? Because that profile picture will speak of credibility, will speak of integrity in behalf of the company. Okay? Next, clients will object if they are not interested. Kung hindi sila interesado doon sa ino-offer mo na project, then definitely he's going to object. And if, if, if there is a if there is a transaction na makipag-meet po kayo ni kliyente, I always say this, prepare one, two, or three projects, no, three the most, para just in case yung una mong pinakita na project ay hindi niya magugustuhan, you still have projects to offer. No? Kasi wala naman talagang garantiya eh. There's no guarantee that by the moment you are going to present the project to the person na kamit mo, there's no guarantee actually na magugustuhan talaga niya yan. There's no guarantee. So, ibig sabihin, if there is no guarantee, then definitely, you've got to prepare other projects just in case hindi niya magustuhan ang unang project na ipapakita sa'yo. So, better better prepare than sorry. Okay? Next is that 
clients object if they don't understand what you're talking. Don't talk in a language that your client cannot understand. Di ba tayo sa real estate, may mga language tayo na tayo lang po nakakaintindi. Gaya ng RFO, gaya ng PKS, gaya ng uh, equity. It's only us who understand those type of language. Those are jargon of words. Eh. Okay, Those are jargon of words. Now, if you talk to your client and you wanted to really close the client, then definitely you've got to talk to a language na yung kliyente mo nakakaintindi. Instead of using equity, use down payment. Instead of instead of using RFO, try to word try try to use the word ready for occupancy because there are terminologies that your buyer doesn't understand. Pero ikaw lang po yung nakaka-understand. So don't use jargon of words, okay? So good afternoon to Christian Tasan, brother. Good afternoon. I'm so happy every time I see you. No? Here on the live. That means you are you're right on track, no? And good afternoon also to Maria Cheryl uh, Orsabia, no? Uh, thank you for joining with us this afternoon, ma'am. I really appreciate it. And um, I think si ma'am, ma'am Cheryl, ngayon to lang nakita to eh. And I hope, ma'am, tuloy-tuloy na po to na makapanood po tayo ng mga training sessions po natin. Okay? Ngayon po, ang topic po natin is all about objection. Okay? So, yung una po, clients object because they don't believe you. Nako, malaking problema yan. Clients object because they're not interested in the project that you're offering. And the third one is that they object because definitely they don't understand what you're talking about. So definitely, you've got to talk in a language na nakakaintindi po sila. Okay? So, hindi po ito ngayon ang panahon na magpakitang gilas na medyo alam mo gumamit ng mga difficult words. Hindi ho. The simpler the word, the better. Uh, lalo na pagdating sa computation. Minsan, medyo magulo yung computation. Ako, I suggest na you write it in a piece of paper. You give a copy to the client para mas maintindihan niya. Kasi anything that is visual is easily understood. Okay, ha? Take note of this one. Anything that is visual, it is easily understood. Lalo na pagdating po sa computations. Okay. Then the last one, they can't or won't buy meaning they cannot afford it or they won't buy it because definitely they don't have money no wala kang magagawa diyan wala kang choice diyan eh that's the reason why uh, on our earlier topics we are talking about how are you going to qualify the leads not all people who inquire from you are are going to buy from you diba not all people that inquire from you will definitely end up in site tours or in tripping no it's not all well the point of the matter, that is the reason why we are going to qualify. We don't prejudge. No? Ito, ah, ito guys, ah. We don't prejudge. We don't judge people according to how they wear, what are they wearing, how they look. We don't judge them. We only validate, we only qualify based on what? Financial capability and capacity. So we, we, have, we have to ask questions. And of course, there are there are corresponding documents that would be needed, no? according to that. So, good afternoon kay Ms. Janeline Disalis. Thank you, ma'am, for being here this afternoon. So, these are a few of the reasons why our clients object. Para sa akin po, ang pinaka-hardest po dyan, when client don't believe you. Kasi isa lang po ang ibig sabihin, kapatid. Eh. If your client don't believe you, then we have an integrity issue. And if it's an integrity issue, it is something that it's really hard to correct because that will be based on the perception of values. Values po yan. So we can have all the reasons why, why client objects. That's okay. Ang katapat lang po dyan ay matamang information. Ang katapat lang po dyan, masagot lang ng maayos. Ang katapat lang po dyan, when you have the facts to present. But if it but, but if indeed siya naniniwala sa'yo, ako, mahirap yan. Talaga, mahirap talaga yan. No? If hindi na siya naniniwala sa'yo. Okay? Then, the, the last one is, there are people who, who, who raised some objection because they wanted to get a much better deal. What are the things that you can offer? Mayroon ba yung free aircon, free washing machine, free refrigerator? And they wanted to hear that. That's the reason why they ask. That's the reason why they raise some concerns or objection because they are looking for a much better deal. 
And that's okay because there are actually right now developers offers a good deal among our buyers. May mga ano pa dyan, mga libre appliances, minsan may mga holiday premiums. Those are perks or even sometimes mga discounts pa ang ino offer. But that is that is okay because that is part of the entire selling process. Okay? Now, the key in 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 handling objection is definitely number 1 by listening. It will always begin with listening. When you listen, when you show that you want to listen, it will help your client feel at ease because mararamdaman niya na you are interested sa kanya. That your ultimate concern is not just actually to get the sale, but your ultimate concern is for you to be able to help the buyer to get the property that he wants. So doon po nila makikita yan. Doon po nila mararamdaman ang sincerity na yan. Now, when we, when we listen, it will help the talker feel, it, it mean, you allow the talker to feel free to talk. I mean, you allow your buyer to just simply free to talk. And you have to look and act interested. Hindi po pwedeng nagsasalita si buyer dyan at tapos ikaw naman busy sa katetext. No, that's a no-no. X po yan. No? X po yan. So when you are faced with a buyer, kung kasama mo si buyer, magkasama kayo na nag-tripping kayo, please give yourself the undivided attention para doon sa buyer. Ilagay mo muna yan sa bulsa mo, yung cellphone mo na yan, kung sino man yung nag-detect sa'yo dyan, hold mo na siya. Kasi you are actually meeting with a very, very important person at that time. Okay? Hello, hello. Good afternoon to Miss Maricel Balbuena. Thank you for joining with us this afternoon, Maricel. No? So when when you, when the client talk, you 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 look and act interested. Listen to understand rather than to oppose. Your goal there is to listen and understand what is the buyer's concern. Okay? Well, hindi po natin negosyo na makipagtalo. Hindi po tayo makipag-argumento. Hindi po tayo makipag-debate. We're not there to do that because if we do that, instead na makuha po natin yung sale, we will end up losing a sale. Yun po yung mangyayari. Okay? So please, please, that is not our goal. That is not our objective that we are going to, you know, makipag-away, makipag-argumento para lang may, may improve na point. Okay? Listen for facts and feelings. Maintain nyo po yung eye contact. Maintain nyo po yung eye contact. Be alert to non-verbal signs. Alam mo, pag ang tao po ay kausap mo yan, may mga gestures yan. Etong mata na to will really speak a lot of things. The eyes, sabi pa nga nila, is the window to the soul. So kung etong talaga ang eyes ay tititigan mo, makikita po ng buyer yung sincerity mo while you are talking to the buyer. Makikita niya at mararamdaman niya na yung attention mo ay binigay mo sa kanya, binuhos mo lahat because you wanted to help the client. You wanted to help him. You want to serve him. That's the point that I always I always say that we've got to deliver the kind of service na mararamdaman po ng kliyente at sasabihin niya sa sarili niya, I'm happy with the service na binigay sa akin ni DPPI. That's what we wanted to accomplish. Kaya pag nakipag-usap po kayo sa buyer, eye to eye contact po kayo. Eye to eye contact. Hello, good afternoon to you, Nervi Diaz. Thank you for joining with us this afternoon. By the way, ma'am, bukas po, 10 o'clock in the morning, meron po tayong session. 10 o'clock at saka 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay? So, be alert to non-verbal signs. So, pag nakita mo na yan, makikita mo talaga yan pag ikaw ay attentive doon sa buyer mo. Pero hindi ka nakatingin, hindi ka nakatutok sa buyer mo, then definitely, hindi mo ma-notice yan. Okay? Then, empathize. When you listen, you empathize. You put yourself sa shoe po niya, sa sapatos niya. You put yourself on his side so that you will understand what he is telling you about. Diba? Kasi hanggat hindi po tayo nasa side po nila, nakikita nila, nararamdaman natin yung nararamdaman nila, 
we will never be able to understand fully what they are talking about. Okay? So just empathize. So in listening, you need to show that you are listening. Listen for facts and feelings. And of course, the last one, empathize. Then be patient also. Be patient. Allow time for an idea to be expressed. And please, 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 do not interrupt the buyer if he is talking. In sight tour po, I always say this, it's not yours to shine. Hindi po kayo ang bida sa sight tour. Kayo lang po yung nag-assist sa sight tour. Ang bida po dyan sa sight tour ay yung kliyente na sinamahan mo. Sila ang bida ng sight tour. So never think no, that because ikaw yung nag-tripping, ikaw yung may karapatan na mag magsasalita at all times. No, I'm sorry. Be patient, no? allow time to be expressed. And please do not interrupt. Pag, pag meron silang ginagawa, meron silang inaasikaso, meron silang pinag-usapan, mag-asawa, while you are on the project site, please do not interrupt them. Let them be on themselves. Don't be argumentative or critical. Huwag po kayong makipagtalo. Huwag din po kayong pintas ng pintas. Kasi pag ikaw po ay makipagtalo, ano yung mawawala sa atin? Ang mawawala sa atin ay yung tao na nakipagtalo, mawawala ang potential na makabilis yan ng project sa atin, Mawala ang potential repeat buyer kung nagugustuhan nila ang servisyo na binibigay natin sa kanila. Then you ask questions. This shows that you are listening. Dito po makita nila na interested ka sa kanila, doon sa paghahanap nila, at sa mga plano pa nila sa buhay. That is what is important. Okay? Let them feel that you are in concern. Let them feel that you value them. Let them feel that you are important. Uh, ganun po yan. Okay. Tuloy tayo. Then, the last one is stop talking. <laughs> you just have to stop talking. You cannot be a good listener if you keep on talking. Remember, when you are face-to-face -face with client, the, the role, the starring role is not actually you. The client plays the starring role. Nakadepende po tayo doon sa magiging responses niya. Kaya if I were you, when you are with the client, allow them to room around the place, allow them to talk, allow them na mag-usap sila, mag-asawa, if mag-asawa yung mag-tour. Diba? And by the way, guys, if you are there with me right now, na nakikinig na po kayo, please pake tawagan niyo po yung mga ka-team ninyo, lalo na po yung mga uplines ninyo, na makasali po sila this, uh, this moment dito po sa, sa live sessions po natin. Okay, ito po guys, very important to. There are two things that are happening actually, the buyer and the seller. These are parallel. Parallel po yan ha. Okay, parallel po yan na nangyayari. Um, I want you to take a look at the screen. I don't know if it's visible on your end and I think it's visible. Now, in the buyer's side, yan, nakikita niyo po yung buyer's side. Ang intention po niya, the buyers need to buy housing unit. Okay. Yung seller naman, nakalagay po dyan sa pula, sellers needs to sell inventory listing. Now, ganito po yun. This is in terms of information. Okay. Now, yung buyer po, nang nagpagtanong siya sa iyo, mababa po yung information na meron siya. Meaning, kokonte lang po yung alam niya with regards to the project na in-inquire niya. Ikaw naman bilang seller, ikaw po ay nasa high bracket. Ibig sabihin, ikaw ay mas may naiintindihan, may mas nalalaman sa project na binibenta mo. Okay. So, nasa high siya, ah, nasa high ka, nasa low siya. Even if mag-usap kayo ng mag-usap, todo-todo po, mag-communicate po kayo, mag-usapan po kayo, you will never really be able to reach a certain conclusion Kasi magkaiba po yung wavelength po ninyo. Si seller, maraming alam tungkol sa project. Si buyer naman is halos walang alam with regards to project. So, paano kayo mag-apang-abot? Diba? So, the goal, in order for you to come up with a negotiation, the goal of the seller is to bring the buyer from low point to a higher point. Ayan, ito po. Pakita ko po sa inyo. The goal of the buyer is to bring the low point na knowledge ni buyer to the high point para pareho po sila ng wavelength at saka level. Okay. 
So what will happen if they have the same wavelength? What would happen if they have the same level? Then definitely they are going to understand with each other. Magkakaintindihan po sila. Kasi you can never negotiate. Hindi nyo po pwede talagang magnegotiate sa isang buyer na hindi po pareho ang standing po ninyo, actually. So in order for that to realize is you bring the client to your level, not you going down to the level of the client. So paano yun? Ang iba sa atin kasi, ang mga agent ang bumababa doon sa level ni kliyente. Wala ngang alam si kliyente sa project, eh, tapos ikaw bababa ka, ikaw ang may alam. So bibit-bitin mo ngayon si buyer na magiging ka-level siya doon sa level mo. So that when you talk, pag nag-usap kayo, magkakaintindihan kayo kasi pareho po ang level po ninyo. How are you going to bring up the level? Provide the needed information na kailangan ni buyer according to the project na ini-inquire po niya. Okay? Clear po ba? Maliwanag po ba? Are we good? Saglit sandali ha. Sorry, baka na-mute. Pagtimpla muna ako ng kape. Coffee time kasi ko to eh. Uh, click ko lang saglit. Okay, balik mo na tayo. <laughs> Sorry, wala pala akong ini, uh, tubig init. <laughs> okay, good morning, good afternoon, good afternoon kay Miss Ruela Bontilao. Okay. So, balikan muna natin to, no? Balikan muna natin tong uh, buyer at saka seller zone. Kayo po ba, naka-experience naka na po ba kayo na hindi talaga kayo nagkakaintindihan? Ng buyer at saka ng, uh, being the seller? Kasi ang problem kasi natin dito... The reason why hindi po tayo nagkakaintindihan is because we fail to bring our buyer to the level the same as our level. Ang kasalasan kasi ginagawa ng mga seller, si buyer po, always always remember this, nung nagtanong siya sa iyo, wala po siyang kalam-alam sa project na tinanong niya sa iyo. Now, sino ngayon ang merong alam? Ikaw. Na dahil ikaw ang may alam, your role is to inform the buyer of the things that he needs to know. The reason po na marami pong objection or marami pong concern or marami pong question is because the seller, instead na bibit-bitin niya si buyer on the same level na sa kanya by providing information, ang ginagawa ni seller, bumababa. Bumababa sila sa level ni buyer. So if that would be the case, bababa ka sa level ni buyer, eh pareho kayong walang alam. Di ba? Pareho, magiging pareho kayong walang alam. And that's not what we wanted to happen. Okay? Saglit, I think mainit na yung tubig ko. Hold on ha. Huwag kayong umalis. Okay. Coffee break tayo. Coffee break. <laughs> so, The, the way to do that, para po, para po mabitbit nyo po si buyer on the same level as you, it's all about information. It's all about information. When you have a thorough information, when you have a complete information of the project, I am very much confident that you are able to sell or close the deal. Because if wala po kayong kalam-alam kalam sa project, 
there will always be questions that the buyer will going to ask from you. There will always be. Now, if, if you are not going to address that, and how are you going to address the information na kakailanganin mo? Simply lang po, kapatid. Balik naman tayo doon sa issue na attend site tour, uh, join PKS. Balik lang po tayo doon. PKS and site tour lang po ang katapat dyan. If you are the person who keeps on attending site tour, if you are the person who keeps on attending uh, PKS, then definitely you have all the idea that you need in order for your buyer na ma-address po yung mga concern niya. So right from the very beginning, pag nag-usap po kayo, nagkaroon po kayo ng inquiry, pag maayos po ang pagbigay niyo po ng information, as in naibigay niyo po talaga yung information na kakailanganin ni buyer para sa project na hinahanap niya, I cannot find reason that the buyer uh, will have more, more questions. Kung naibigay mo yung tamang information at yung, yung angkop na information talaga na para sa kanila. So, my suggestion is, you gather all the information na kakailanganin po ninyo before you are going to go on a site tour. Don't go in a site tour na wala kayong bala na, wala kayong bitbit na bala na information. Coffee? Diba? What will happen? What will happen if you are not going to equip yourself? Pagdating nyo po sa site tour, kasama nyo po yung kliyente, ang mangyayari po, nga nga. Diba? Nga nga ang mangyayari talaga, hindi mo masasagot ang mga tanong na kailangan, na itasa, itatanong niya sa iyo because definitely, you are not able to come prepared. So you better come prepared talaga. Okay? So yan po yan, buyer and seller uh, 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 negotiation zone. Itong tawag na po na to, ito po yung negotiation zone. This is where you are going to talk to your buyer. This is the time that you're going to be exchanging information with your buyer. And if hindi mo po naibigay sa kanya ang tamang information na hinahanap niya sa iyo, then definitely he's going to ask more and more and more and more and more and more questions. So if you wanted to get rid of those questions na sangkatutak, give the entire complete information by the moment magkita kayo. Ibigay mo. Everything that he needs to know, ibigay mo. And I tell you, it will make the buyer easy to decide on which, on which property to buy. Diba? So, negotiation zone ang tawag po dyan. So, you bring the buyer to the level, exactly the same level as you. No? So, paano mo gawin yan? By providing information, offers, and everything that you are going to need. Okay? Selling versus negotiation, do not negotiate when you are not at the same level in the negotiation zone. So, remember this one. Do not negotiate when you are not on the same level within the negotiation zone. Ayan po, nakikita niyo po. Do not negotiate when you are not in the same level in the negotiation zone. So, kaya po, ang goal niyo po ay bibitbitin si buyer na nasa low zone, papunta po doon sa higher zone. That's your goal. Okay? Kailangan po na ma maibitbit niyo po ang buyer sa high zone bago po kayo mag-usap with regards to the project. Okay? So, ito po yung negotiation roadmap. Alam nyo po guys, hindi po lahat ng inquiry natin ay magmamaterialize talaga sa sale. May mga inquiry tayo na eventually it will end up in, in close deal, close seal, a sale. But it doesn't necessarily mean that magpakalunod po tayo dyan. So, ito po yung roadmap. Now, everything started with an ideal situation. no? Best, post, best property option. Nag-offer ka ng magandang property. Ito po yung tinatanong niya. Medyo positive naman si buyer. However, there are certain cases na kailangan mo talagang mag-ready kung what will be the next option sa buyer. Kasi hindi mo alam during the course of the visit or the site tour ay may mga bagay-bagay siya na hinahanap na hindi niya mahanap po dyan, and it will end up looking for another property. So my suggestion is that please prepare always a backup plan, a fallback. No? Yan po yung tawag, a fall Back, in which you are prepared for two or three more projects just in case na ang unang project na pinakita mo doon kay buyer ay hindi niya po magugustuhan. Diba? 
mas maganda po yun na nakaredy ka talaga. And the third roadmap is that when really the buyer is hindi talaga buyer. no Wala, wala pong mangyayari nga deal. Hindi niya gusto ang project, wala doon ang inahanap niya, uh, pigado siya sa finances, hindi siya mag-qualify. Whatever gonna be the reason for that, there's no point in continuing the negotiation roadmap because hindi nga siya makakabili sa iyo. Eh. And I guess that's the time that you're going to walk away and find a new client. Kasi hindi naman po pwedeng mag, magpakalunod ka dyan sa kliyente na meron ka. Now, let's talk about STEM. <laughs> 90% of all clients' objections arise from the following. Ito po yan, STEM. Specific need, time. It's about time. It's about the effort. And it's about the money. Okay? So STEM, no? yung acronym po dyan, STEM. So, yan. Happy muna tayo. Kasi dito po sa akin, it's 4 o'clock pa. Ay, it's 3 o'clock pa lang. Wow. Okay. Let's talk about STEM. And so this is in order to anticipate or reduce the opportunities for them to occur, effectively handle once, if in case, meron pong mag-occur. Okay. So objections are signposts to the sale. Now, indicates progress, highlight important clients' need, maybe a buying signal, give us an opportunity to close. So we should love objection. Definitely, we need to love objection. Objection is not about, again, complaint, but this is just about concern na wanted to really resolve. Ang importante po dito, nandun po yung interest, nakita mo po yung buying signal, and this would give you an opportunity to close kasi ma-address niyo dapat i-address at ma-highlight mo ang dapat mong ma-highlight doon sa kliyente. Okay? So what you're going to do here is you're going to probe. You're going to ask question. You just simply need to find out what is the real reason kung bakit niya nasabi or nagkaroon ng concern. I-clarify niyo po ang situation. You need to agree on certain things, but... You need also to cry, try out close. Baka yung maliit na concern niya ay pwede mo nang i-let go. Kung baga close na lang tayo. Then, the third one is to overcome objection. The more use powerful facts and benefits to outweigh the objection. Then close it. Facts and benefits. Remember that. When we are talking about objection, it's all about presenting the facts and the benefit. As long as you can present the facts, as long as you can present... Uh, the value of that, people will also begin to see the benefit when they are going to, to do that from you. So these are the techniques. You probe, you clarify, and try to close, then you overcome objection. This, this is a flow. Okay? Okay, guys. Ito po. The moment you have your prospect, like, nag-site tour kayo, nagpunta kayo ng project site, then you've got to ask questions. Most likely, basic one. And eventually, it goes deeper in asking for about their family and eventually their finances. The bottom line is that you're going to ask questions. You allow the buyer to talk. You allow the buyer to give the answer. And out from the answers na binibigay niya sa'yo at makikita mo talaga, if you try to look at the client, eyes to eyes, makikita mo talaga if he or she is interested on the project that you are offering. Now, if nakikita mo na interested siya doon sa project na pinipresent mo, then eventually, magkakaroon po siya ng mga slight na mga concern. But if you are just ready to answer and give the needed information na kakailangan niya, then eventually, he is going to resolve whatever question na meron siya and probably he himself, no? will go beyond the objection. Okay? The third one is you need to overcome the objection. With an, just for example, ito, with a new condo, we can increase the number of the new prospects, tenants, or to rent and make your investment work. So you gain the extra money on the little units. How about it? So my present ka na project and she has so many questions, she has so many concerns, and just what if walang mag rent and just what if ganito, ganyan. Now, if you can present statistics, if you can present data, 
that these are the people that are going into the place. And if these are the people, potential people that will book for you through Airbnb, then that is business and that is money for you. Pag nakita po ng buyer yan at nararamdaman niya sin sinasinsiro yung pag-deliver mo, then definitely he or she is going to support you in everything that is you're going to need. Especially on the area of motivation, encouragement, and everything. Okay? Ito yung sinasabi ni, uh, uh, ni John Maxwell now. Be, just be positive. No? Just be positive. Hello, hello. Good morning to Mamuelda Morales. No? Thank you for joining Mamuelda. Saglit kesa. I'll just uh, uh, keep us my coffee. Okay, sorry, sorry for the, no, no. So, yun, when you ask question, it helps to clarify. Then eventually, when you provide the answer, it will help the client overcome the needed objections. Okay? Again, guys, ito lang po talaga yung always nasasabihin ko. When it comes to objection, it's just all about providing answers. I mean, there's no any other way in order for you to resolve resolve. Uh, our buyer's concern. Eh. Now, I, I don't know about you. Can you can you think of any other way that our buyers will going to reser, re, resolve its concern? Is there any other way? Wala, I guess, no? And I, and I think the only way na ma-resolve yung mga concern ni buyer is to really just provide the information na kailangan, na kailangan talaga niya. Kasi it's all about information, guys. Eh. The reason why he has a lot of questions the reason why he always raises concern is because hindi po kompleto ang binigay mo na information. Kasi kung binigay mo na lahat yung information na kailangan niyang malaman, then definitely he is confident in what you are going to transact. Kampante po siya. Eh ngayon, dahil hindi siya kampante, ibig sabihin may kulang yung binigay mo. Okay, step one, in probing. When you probe, you listen. Don't jump in, just keep on talking. It's not for you to talk. It's for you to ask questions. But it's not for you to talk. No? Don't jump in because you've heard it before. Think. Bago po kayo, uh, bago po kayo mag, magbato ulit ng question, think. What does he really mean about it? Kung may, 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 may isasagot siya sa'yo, ay analyze mo, pakinggan mo. Ito kaya yung talagang totoong reason? Ito kaya ang totoong dahilan? Di ba? You better, you, better, you better assess yourself. And lastly, you ask. You find out. Okay? During the side tour, may mara marami pong mga pagkakataon na ang buyer talaga ay medyo minsan tahimik lang. At sa tapos si agent, ito yung natitempt na magsasalita, salita ng salita. I don't have anything against with that kind of style, but it's not for me. It's not for me. Why? Because sabi ko pa nga, the star player in every side tour is hindi po ikaw. It's your client. Nandiyan ka lang para alalayan sila, para mag-assist. So kung sino yung star of the night o sino yung star of the day, siya po yung may karapatan na magsasalita. At tayo po, ang meron po tayo ay makinig. In listening, this is where we are able to come up with a better answer. When we listen. Because when we listen, it gives us time to think bago po tayo magpapalabas po ng mga salita dito po sa bibig natin. So my suggestion, ayan po, listen, think, saka po kayo mag- Tatanong. That's how simple it is. So probing is just simply asking the question so that you will really know the real reason. Yun lang. That's, how, that's the reason why you ask. In probing, remember the, the acronym AISA. No? Alamin, anong tunay na hadlang sa idea? Intindihin, you understand why the problem, no, uh, naintindihan ba yung problema based doon sa punto na uh, pinakita ni kliyente? Di ba? 
Kasi pwede naman siyang nagbato eh. Pwede siyang nagbato ng concern. Pwede siya na sinabi itong concern na to. But at the end of the day, hindi naman, hindi naman talaga niya naiintindihan. Yes. Siguruhin. Nakakasiguro ka ba yung, nakaba yung, yun nga ang problema or gawing tanong ang objection. Restate and verify. Meaning, if, if there are issues and concern, you ask, you answer and you ask, ay, kumbaga, you answer the question with a question. Yun po yun. You answer the question with a question para masiguro kung ano ba talaga yung alam nila. Kung ano ba yung pagkakaintindi nila. Diba? Kasi importante po malaman yun. Then, yan, siguro yun, no? nakakasiguro ka ba yung problema ay gawing tanong ng mga objections, restate and verify. So, of course, may mga mga papelis yan na involve eh, siyempre, uh, magtatanong si, si Dana, eh, magtatanong ka rin doon sa available requirements na na available na buyer mo. At check mo rin kung yan ba ang the same requirement na hinihingi doon sa mga financing institution. So, Aisa, no? alamin, intindihin, siguruhin, at ang pang-apat is ayusin. Overcome the objection using the negotiation roadmap elements and frequently ask questions. So you better ask question. The only way talaga na maayos ang lahat na to is when you are going to ask questions. And if you are not going to ask questions, mamumoblema po tayo dyan because wag nyo, wag nyo pong i-assume na ang mga tao sa paligid natin in our way to Trump, in our way to Cambodia will always be of Filipino descent. Hindi po. Ang iba sa kanila ay hindi pa nga marunong mag-English. So tayo po yung mag-end up na tayo po yung mag-English. Number two, clarify and trial close. Okay. Yeah, ito po yan. So in clarifying, wala lang. You just simply have to uh, affirm the question again. You have to ask again the question and you answer it again. And this time, you're going to do it clearly. But along the way, you are going to also to trial close. No? Ito po yung magbabaka sakali po kayo na baka mag-reserve. So for example, ayan, no? which is most important issue? Ayan, so... Pag sinabi ni buyer na ito, I'd say ganyan, no, mas issue ko sa akin yung pera. So meaning, you will have the idea na ito talaga, medyo mahirap talaga makakuha to ng project because medyo gipit siya sa pera. So you will have an idea. Okay? You will have an idea. Guys, ganito lang po yan. No? Um, simultaneous kasi mangyayari po yan. Eh. Lahat po ng situation na ganyan, eh, ma- simultaneous po yan. Ang, ang gagawin nyo lang po, lalo na po nasa training na po kayo, uh, nasa field na po kayo, nasa side tour po kayo. You just have to be sensitive in listening. What are the questions na ibabato po ni buyer dito po sa atin? And sometimes, yung, yung mga questions na yun ay very simple and sometimes just answerable by a simple statement. Kadalasan ho, ha? Kadalasan. But what I want you to 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 focus at is you may clarify the statements. No? Clarify the statements na sinabi niya because Ito po yung magiging pagbabasihan nyo po doon sa tinatawag natin na trial close. Okay? Yun po yung pagbabasihan. So you clarify, no? Identify the priority. Rephrase it in a way you can handle it better. Then trial close. Step three. Overcoming objection or overcome the objection. Use powerful facts and benefits to outweigh the objection. Ano po yung sinabi ko po kanina when we were talking about objection? Wala po. Napaka-simpleng kailangan lang po para i-counter po natin ang objection. Ang pinaka-simple po is equip yourself with the needed information with regards to a certain project. You buy doon sa, sa idea nga you've got to learn 
first before you earn. And because you are learning, the moment na magtatanong si buyer, it will become easy for you to present whatever project na nandyan sa isipan mo. Marami pong mga katanungan na, 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 na resulta. It's because a lot of people actually is no longer equipping themselves, especially pag magkakaroon po sila ng, ng side tool. Kumpiyansa na ba sa sarili? Okay? So, mga some common objections na lang to. So, a final thought. I always tell the kids, you know what's great about going the extra mile. <laughs> there's very little traffic. That's true. When you go extra mile among your client, there's little traffic out there. Hindi ka makipagbanggaan, hindi ka makipagsiksikan, hindi ka makipagtulakan. So, very convenient. Okay? Ang umaayaw ay di nagwawagi. I definitely, yes. If you keep on complaining, Nothing will really be perfect for you. Maniwala kayo. Nothing will always be perfect for you. So the key summary points is use questioning techniques with probing, welcome objections. They could be needed. Handle them with success to, su to secure the sale. So that's it. No? Napaka simply po. That's how you are going to overcome objection. But at the end of the day, I will just summarize it into Simple statement. Attend PKS, join Saitor. Attend PKS, join Saitor. Wala na pong, wala na pong si simple pa sa pag ng Saitor at saka mga uh, PKS. Wala na, pong si, mag, wala na pong kasing simple po yan. Now, sandali ah. Yan. Okay, okay. Thank you very much for joining with us. So, natapos na rin po tayo. Nasa part 5 na po tayo ng basic selling skill. So, dito po magtatapos ang uh, topic natin uh, dito. Okay. Now, ito lang po yung guys. Simple tip lang. Para maiwasan ang marami at sangkatotak na objection, come ready and prepared for all the information na kakailangan ninyo. Kung hindi sapat ang information na nakikita niyo po sa, sa group chat, go and look for the marketing person and ask for the total information with regards to this project. And I tell you, if you are going to do that, you will be ready and equipped in any form of quote-unquote challenges. Okay? Maraming salamat po sa panahon na binigay niyo po sa akin. Kita-kita po tayo bukas, lunes. Thank you and God bless you all. Bye!